Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Terrorism and the Tea Party, that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. In a very coordinated effort, the far left in America is once again trying to marginalize the Tea Party in the eyes of non-ideological Americans, which is most of the voting public. You may remember that the radical left tried to brand the Tea Party racist, but that attempt failed as the election last November demonstrated. Now the uber-left legions are at it again, equating the Tea Party's staunch opposition to a debt compromise with terrorism. It's a, like a form of economic terrorism. I imagine Ugh. these Tea Party guys are like strapped with dynamite, standing in the middle of Times Square at rush hour and saying either you do it my way or we're going to blow you up, ourselves up and the whole country up with us. So you tell me how those kinds of standoffs end. Once having been successful at blindfolding the American public, putting a gun to the president's head, forcing him uh, to read into law or to sign into law this uh, extraordinary act of, I think, unpatriotic and irrational frenzy, I think that now they're emboldened. Any faction in America that would put a gun to the head of 310 million people and say, if you don't do it our way, we will blow your dreams away. We will blow a hole in the American economy. That is un-American. Now, notice the nearly identical language used by those three individuals. There is no question that the designers of far-left propaganda are very well coordinated. Another example. In a New York Times column today, Joe Nacera writes, quote, The country has watched in horror as the Tea Party Republicans have waged jihad on the American people. Their intransigent demands for deep spending cuts, coupled with their almost gleeful willingness to destroy one of America's most invaluable assets, its full faith and credit, were incredibly irresponsible. Jihad? As Bernie Goldberg astutely pointed out last night, many on the far left refused to even mention jihad when real Muslim terrorists strike. But now the terrorist label is all over the Tea Party. That is wrong. As you may know, I disagreed with the Tea Party on occasion. Some BillOReilly.com premium members even canceled their memberships because I said Michelle Bachman and other politicians were being too rigid on the debt deal. That although their cause is just, controlling government spending, their methods were causing harm both to them and to you. But branding Congresswoman Bachman a terrorist is disgraceful. Are far-left politicians like Senators Bernie Sanders and Tom Harkin terrorists as well? They voted against the debt deal. Hey, far-left fanatics, is there a difference when your side refuses to compromise? Apparently there is. The bitter political divide in the USA is disturbing. Using words like terrorists and racist to brand opponents is simply unacceptable. I think maybe President Obama needs to give another speech like his Arizona appeal. Some of his most ardent supporters obviously did not get the message.